continuing our road to the resurrection of your life, coming up to Resurrection Sunday on the third Sunday in April. We left off with the principle of preparation. In concluding that principle on today, we talked about in our last session about how we are to prepare as believers of God for the foreseen and the unforeseen. Now, one of the passages of scripture that I love to reference when talking about preparation that shows us as believers how mandatory it is that we prepare is how Solomon in the sixth chapter of the book of Proverbs, which is the book of wisdom, between verses six and 11, he talks about the ant and what the ant does to prepare. Just think about that, the ant, one of the smallest creatures in all of the earth, the ant, and yet it makes preparation for the rainy day. Listen to what the wisest man Solomon says in Proverbs chapter six, verses six through 11. He says, go to the ant, thou sluggard. In other words, you who so sorry that don't wanna make any preparations, go to the ant and take your instructions from the ant. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler. In other words, there's no president of the ants. They have nobody who's over them. Verse eight, provided her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. Though nobody oversees the ant, the ant still takes the initiative to prepare in the summer for whatever the winter brings. Verse nine, how long will thou sleep, O sluggard, when thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall the poverty come as one that traveleth and thy want as an armed man. So just as sure as a pregnant woman is going to give birth, you are going to have trouble and you must prepare for that. This is what Solomon is saying. So in essence, if we're gonna have a life that is resurrected, move us from the crucified burial level of our living to the resurrection of life, synonymous to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we must have some preparation. Solomon talks about that preparation also in the book of Proverbs in chapter 21, verse 20. He says something very unique. He says, there is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spends it up. A foolish man spends it up. That is certainly suggestive of us as a people, the African American people. We don't own anything, we don't manage anything. Everything we get as a people, we spend it up. But the prophet here, through the voice of Solomon, the preacher, the wisest man who ever lived, is saying that we must make preparation. In closing, let me say this to you. As we prepare for the future, keep these words in mind. I have just a minute, only 60 seconds in it. I did not seek it, I did not choose it. I must suffer if I abuse it and do not use it. Just a tiny little minute, but eternity is in it. If your life is ever going to resurrect, you then must adopt the principle of preparation. Don't forget now, we're still on our road to Resurrection Sunday, resurrecting our lives, making our sacrifices for our personal activities, making sacrifices of whatever foods we're giving up for this 40 day, six week interim certainly laying aside that special offering over and above our regular giving. Until we meet again, may God be with you.